वेलकम टू अभिव्यक्ति इंडिया फ्यूचर क्लास रूम इन टूडेज एपिसोड ऑफ न्यूमेरिकल एबिलिटी पार्ट टू ऑफ रेशियो एंड प्रपोर्शन द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज रुपीज फिफ्टीन थाउजेंड नाइन हंड्रेड इज डिवाइडेड अमंग ए बी एंड सी इन सच अ वे दैट थ्री टाइम्स ऑफ ए share is equal to 4 times of b's share also the ratio of the b's share to the c's share is 5 is to 6 then find a's share here rupees 15900 is divided among a b and c in such a way that 3 times of a is equal to Four times of B's share, and so it will be A upon B that is equal to four upon three. It means A is to B is equal to four is to three, and it is also given that B. And C the ratio is five is to six. And from this given information, first we will find the ratio of A is to B is to C. Here, A is to B is four is to three, and B is to C is five is to six. from which we have to find the ratio of a is to b is to c just see how do we find that 4 is to 3 is to 5 is to 6 we write it like this then we multiply this to 4 fives are 20 so it will be 20 is to then we multiply this to 5 threes are 15 so 20 is to 15 is to then we multiply this to that is 6 threes are 18 so it will be 18 so the ratio of a is to b is to c is equal to 20 is to 15 is to 18 and therefore the total parts will be 53 20 plus 15 plus 18 that is equal to 53 so the total parts are 53 and out of this 53 parts a will have 20 parts b will have 15 parts and c will have 18 parts we have to find a share so a share is 20 parts so 15900 we divide into 53 parts and out of this 53 parts 20 parts will be of eighth share and so after solving this we get it as 6000 and therefore eighth share is rupees 6000 the next question is a man divides his property among two sons wife and a brother one half of his property he gives to his sons according to their ages in the ratio 4 is to 3 his wife got twice that of his younger son and his brother got rupees 18000 find the man's total property a man divides his property among two sons one is elder son another is younger son then wife and brother 
the half property is divided among elder son and younger son it means the remaining half property is divided among wife and brother so this property is in the ratio of 4 is to 3 elder son and younger son that property division is 4 is to 3 and his wife got twice that of his younger son this wife has got twice of his younger son so therefore it should be six parts when younger son has three parts the wife should have got six parts now see here this half part is seven parts 4 is to 3 therefore this half part should also be seven parts so out of that six part gone to wife and therefore remaining one part should go to brother so the division is like this 4 is to 3 is to 6 is to 1 now the brother share is rupees 18000 rupees brother share is rupees 18000 that is a one part total parts are 14 parts so one part is 18000 rupees so 14 parts will be how much so we multiply this two and divide by the first one so it will be 18000 multiplied by 14 divided by 1 so this will be equal to 2 lakh 52000 so the property of a man is rupees 2 lakh 52000 the next question is rupees 10500 is divided among a b and c in such a way a gets 2 fifth of b and c and b gets half of a and c find the shares of a b and c now here it is said that a share is equal to 2 fifth of the share of b and c so if you take b plus c to this side you will get a upon b plus c is equal to 2 by 5 so this is nothing but a is to b plus c that is equal to 2 is to 5 so this is total 7 so out of 7 parts a has 2 parts and b plus c has 7 parts total parts are 7 and out of 7 parts a has 2 parts and b plus c together has 5 parts and therefore a's share will be equal to total is 10500 out of that divided by 7 parts this will be divided into 7 parts so divided by 7 and out of this 7 parts eighth share is 2 parts so multiplied by 2 so after solving we get it as rupees 3000 so eighth share is rupees 3000 similarly the second condition is that b gets half of the share of a plus c so take a plus c to this side so you will get b upon a plus c is equal to 1 half so that we can write as b is to a plus c that is equal to 1 is to 2 it means the total parts are three out of the three parts one part will be of b and the two parts will be of a plus c and therefore b share will be equal to 
डिवाइडेड बाय थ्री इट मींस टेन थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड डिवाइडेड इनटू थ्री पार्ट्स एंड आउट ऑफ दैट वन पार्ट इज बीच शेयर सो मल्टीप्लाइड बाय वन एंड देर फॉर बीच शेयर इज इक्वल टू सो दिस विल बी इक्वल टू थ्री थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड Now H share is three thousand, B share is three thousand five hundred. Therefore, C share will be equal to ten thousand five hundred minus three thousand plus three thousand five hundred. That is six thousand five hundred. And therefore, C C share will be rupees four thousand. Therefore, H share is three thousand. B share is three thousand five hundred and C share is four thousand. Here is one more question of the same type. Rupees seven thousand five hundred divided among A, B, and C in such a way that A share is three seventh of B and C and B share is two third of A and C. Find the share of A, B, and C. friends the first condition is that h share is 3/7th of b plus c so this is a is to b plus c is equal to 3 is to 7 it means out of 10 parts three parts Will be of A, so seven thousand five hundred divided by ten means we are making ten parts of seven thousand five hundred, and out of that three parts will be of A. So H share will be this seven hundred fifty multiplied by three. So this is equal to two thousand two hundred and fifty. So H share is rupees two thousand two hundred and fifty. Now the second condition is that B share is two third of A and C share. So this can be written as B is to A plus B. That is equal to two is to three. And therefore, out of total parts five, two parts will be of B, and therefore we will divide the given amount seven thousand five hundred into five equal parts, and out of that two parts will be of B, so multiplied by two, so which is equal to rupees three thousand. Now you can find C share also. C share that will be equal to seven thousand five hundred minus the sum of A and B share. So it will be two thousand two hundred fifty and three thousand. So it will be five thousand two hundred fifty. <coughs> so that is equal to. Two thousand two hundred fifty. So H share is two thousand two hundred fifty. B share is three thousand, and C share is two thousand two hundred fifty. Friends, I hope you must have enjoyed this video. If yes, like it, share it, and subscribe to the channel so that you will get all updates right into your mailbox. if for any other reason you disliked it please share your views through comments so that we will try to improve because there is always a room for improvement friends also if you have any other method which is different than that of which i have explained here please share it through comments so that others will also learn from it thank you very much friends you might have enjoyed this video 
then go to thumbs up button and click then go to share tab and share with your friends on facebook twitter google plus and many more and to get the updates right in your mailbox don't forget to subscribe thank you very much